Hey, what's up guys? Fishing here. Welcome back to another video of Pokemon Go. So, uh, today I'm gonna do a quick update on my Pokemon, um, what I capture, and also a video on how to, uh, level up quickly. So, if you guys took my advice before, um, that catching every single Pokemon you see is the way to go, uh, you should have a lot of candies left over. So, for example, um, I know in every area there's a lot of Rattata, so I actually have 187 Rattata, or candies, and, um, but before that, let's talk about, uh, lineup. So I caught a lot of, uh, high, I guess high CP, I guess the higher you go, the more you, uh, the more, uh, high CP kind of Pokemon that you can encounter. So, uh, this one... 749 I actually caught it wild um I did have an Instagram uh picture on my Instagram um but even as you can see I caught a lot of Pidgeys as well 64 candies but yeah this one was caught wild I never uh, uh powered it up but um so right now I have, uh one that's over a thousand I could pretty much evolve this or power this up as well but I think I overplayed it for a little bit and uh, kind of lost my interest recently. Um, but I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday I actually walked like for two to three hours and I hatched for about four eggs. Yeah, I didn't ride my bike. Um, I it's, instead I walked and I got about four to five eggs that hatched and this one was um, in one of the eggs, a five kilometer. Kil kilometer yeah kilometer eggs so that was a pretty good find for me um caught another scyther so i disabled uh or um sent the other one to professor um other than that nothing really new just some new pokemons that i found finally um but so let's talk about the power levels right so for example, for Rattata, I actually have a lot of candy, so I will use that to act, uh, actually evolve. Excuse me, evolve every Rattata that I can until I, have to, until I don't have any more candies. The reason behind that is because you could gain levels or you gain experience from it. So let's do an example. Um, I'm gonna evolve Weedo, And uh, I'm not sure how much experience it's going to give me, but I know Rattata is going to give you 500 every time for 25 candies. And I assume Evolving Weedle will be the same, 500 EXP. See, right there, 500 EXP. So, pretty much whatever you don't want to use, just use it for EXP to evolve. Um, for example, Rattata again. Uh, you're not really going to use him, so just use him to evo to uh, evolve. Pidgey as well. Um, just use it for the EXP, because there's going to be tons of Pidgeys. And you're never going to run out of um, Pidgey candies to power up your Pidgey. Eye. If anything, you'll run out of Stardust. So... There you go, another 500 EXP. So I'm assuming everything's the same. All, um, all evolution is 500 EXP. So that way, every but um, every kind of Pokemon you catch will have a chance of getting the same EXP. So there's no point of wasting, say, Bulbasaur candies. Um, you pretty much just want to waste the one that you don't use. So, Weedo, Cat Caterpie, Rattata, uh, Pidgey. Even Sparrow, um, pretty much whatever you, when you walk out of your house is what you want to use. So for me, Rattata and Pidgeys. So I hope this video helped you guys um, to power level or to use your, um, I guess, items. If you call candy items um, efficiently. And also these, even these little stop will give you uh, 50 EXP every time. So, and the higher level you are, the higher CP Pokemon that you're going to encounter. So 
the faster you level up, the faster you could get yourself power up. So, um, hope this video helped you guys um, learn how to power level and how to level quickly. Um, please comment below um, what kind of videos you guys want to see. I do read every one of the comments. Um, so, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share this video to uh, your fellow trainers. And thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.